All right, so I'm gonna do a short video on how to remove the battery and the hard drive from this uh, MacBook. Um, There's a MacBook model A1181, okay? So it's very simple to remove the battery. You can use like a penny or something. I just use this pry tool because it works fine. Um, so you just put the penny in here and then twist it um, counter or clockwise um, to get the battery out. Okay, of course to put the battery back, you put this side back in again first, put that side down and then twist this to lock it. All right, so I'm just gonna take it out. Right, this model is really old, so I'm not going to show like how to do a bunch of other stuff. But uh, my customer just wanted me to remove the hard drive from here, so I'm just going to show how to do that. All right, so once you do that, um, there's these three screws. Um, I believe underneath is also the RAM, but so remove the three screws um, from this inside part here. All right, so just undo the three screws, they do stay in place, you don't, um, the screws won't fall out. So just turn it until the screw clicks in place, and then you know it's um, it's already fully loosened. Okay, so undo these three screws. All right, once you undo those three screws, you want to reach in here and pull this metal piece out. If the screw gets stuck, um, you just want to see and twist it some more. Sometimes it'll get stuck. All right, so pull this metal piece out. Um, and then also this foamy pad stuff, if you put it back, make sure the foam pad stuff goes back inside. So when you take this out, it comes out like this. This metal piece um, has to go in first into the side of the case, and then you put it back. All right, and then you basically would just push this um, foamy stuff back in. All right, and then screw it in. All right, so I'm just going to show how to take out the hard drive, and I guess I'll take out the RAM as well. So the RAM has these little levers here. Just pull them over to the side. You'll feel it click, and then you can actually pull the sticks of RAM out. So if you want to replace the RAM, hmm, they actually don't even mark this, but it looks like it's DDR2 memory. All right, so I'm going to just put it back for now. Hopefully your RAM will actually have labels on them. These ones they didn't label, so you'll have to actually look it up. But it says Kingston. The model is, I don't know, you can look it up. These are the models. KVR667D2S51G. So I guess it is a 1 gig stick. Um, or maybe it's a 1 gig um, set. Because uh, these didn't have much memory. Um, but yeah, if you need to change the RAM, that's how you would do it. Um, these models are so old, I doubt anyone's going to be working on these right now to actually use them. But, I mean, there's always a chance one person might be saving it for some reason. Alright, then you just push the stick of RAM all the way in. Alright, for the hard drive, there's this little tab you need to pull it out. Once you do that, you can pull the whole hard drive out. It comes out this whole caddy. Um, so the caddy is what you'll want to um, swap over if you're going to replace a new hard drive. This thing has some gross sticky stuff on it. So that's probably why it's not working anymore. But anyways, um, you'll get a screwdriver. This is a T8, so you'll use a T8 bit. And then you can remove the caddy. So that's pretty much all there is to this device. I'm just removing the hard drive for my customer um, since they wanted to get rid of it and didn't want their data on it. Okay, so remove the hard drive, just like that. Move the four screws. Alright. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You can set this hard drive aside. If you want, you can put a new hard drive. Though, again, this model is very old and probably not very useful anymore. So, yeah, I don't think anyone's going to be reusing these old Mac models. Um, I'm going to put the screws and store them in here, so that way if somebody does need it for some reason, then they will at least have it, okay? So to do that, I just take a piece of tape, All right, and then I fold in part of the tape on this side, fold in part of the tape on the other side, all right? And then I just stick the screws all on this thing, just like this. And then I fold over the tape so it's like enclosed. 
So the two folds, um, they're there, so if you need to open it, you can easily peel it open. And then also when you stick it down, then you can easily peel it off the surface. So just like this, it sticks there. If you need to take it out, you can easily take it out. And if you need to get the screws out, you can easily get the screws out. Okay, so those are some small tips and tricks I do when I work on these computers. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just stick this tray back in there. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to this. Just put this metal piece back. Again, it's a little bit tricky getting the... Um, the little foam pads back in place properly um, but it's you don't have to have it completely underneath but if you have a tool like this you can just um, shove it underneath like this okay all right and then just put the screws back um, and that's pretty much all there is that I'm gonna show for this model the RAM the hard drive and the S uh, the, the sorry the RAM the hard drive and the battery so it is a two and a half inch SATA, so you can change it to an SSD. And yeah, that's all I'm gonna show. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe because that'll help me. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.